During his speech at the opening ceremony for the United Nations General Assembly meeting, Libyan leader Muammar al-Qaddafi demanded that the United Nations Charter be changed. The United Nations General Assembly took place in New York with the participation of more than 120 world leaders with a speech by UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. He called for attendees to confront challenges regarding the environment, nuclear weapons and poverty. Moon also said that this is the time to act multilaterally and in innovative ways. The major speech was given by American President Obama, who was attending the United Nations General Assembly for the first time. Moon also called for confronting challenges facing the world, saying that current efforts are not enough to resolve the challenges facing humanity. He also called for decreasing nuclear weapons and declared that this issue will be given priority in the near future. The meeting began with Libyan leader Muammar al-Qaddafi calling for the UN General Assembly's headquarters to be relocated outside New York. It was Qaddafi's first time participating in the meeting. Qaddafi expressed opposition to expanding membership of the UN Security Council and called for placing it under the authority of the UN General Assembly. Reforming the United Nations can't be done by increasing the number of seats in the UN Security Council. Increasing the number of seats will only add insult to injury. I did not know how the translator translated this term. It is difficult to translate. Yazid Atin Bala. I would like to help you, but it means adding insult to the injury. That is making what is bad even worse. The UN General Assembly should come up with resolutions for the Security Council. The UN General Assembly is the international parliament. It is the Congress of the world. It is the legislative body of the world, and therefore their resolutions should be binding. This is true democracy. The Security Council must be placed under the authority of the UN General Assembly. It must never abuse its authority, and we refuse to let that happen from now on. You are the legislative authority. You are the legislators of the UN General Assembly. It is written that the General Assembly takes recommendations from the UN Security Council. This is wrong. It should be the other way around. The Security Council should be making decisions based on orders from the General Assembly. These are the world's nations, 190 nations. These are the nations united. The United Nations is not the Security Council in the next room. There are only 10 people. What kind of democracy is this? What kind of security is this? How can we ever be confident about international security if our faith is in the hands of ten people, and they are dominated by four or five people, and sometimes even by one country? We are here representing 190 nations, sitting here as if we were sitting at Hyde Park. We're only decor. They are making you into decor. You are only like Hyde Park. The UN Security Council was established in 1945. Until now, it has failed to provide us with security. It only provided us with sanctions and terror. It is only used against us, and therefore we are not obligated to follow the resolutions of the Security Council from this 40th meeting onward. Qaddafi was introduced as the king of African kings. Even assuming that the UN will not be reformed, Qaddafi called for creating a permanent seat for Africa in the Security Council as compensation for what Africans endured in the past. He also demanded compensation for third world countries because of colonization as a way to ensure that it will not be repeated. Qaddafi praised the speech of Barack Obama. <laughs> We, especially the Africans, are very happy and proud that an African is the President of the United States. It is an historical event. In the past, blacks were not allowed to enter coffee shops or restaurants that whites went to, and they were not even allowed to ride the buses that whites used. The American people voted enthusiastically for Obama, this black Kenyan man, to be the President of the U.S. This is a great thing, and we are proud of it. We believe it could be the beginning of change. He promoted a slogan of change. However, I believe that Obama is one light in the dark. It may stay lit for four or eight years, but then I'm afraid the U.S. will go back to its old policies. Who can guarantee that America will not revert to its old ways after Obama? Can anybody guarantee that? 
Who can guarantee that? Can even Ban Ki-moon guarantee that? Nobody can guarantee that. We are comfortable now that Obama is in the White House. We do not disagree at all with the speech that Obama gave. He has been completely different from any modern American president we have seen so far. Qaddafi also criticized the International Court of Justice and the International Atomic Energy Agency, saying the International Court only punishes smaller countries and never goes after major world powers.